How's it going guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to the channel for another video. Shout out to my friends for hooking me up with a big stack of foreign non-PlayStation 5 discs that I could test to see how they work on the PlayStation 5. I know Sony's already said what disc work with the console. I, I know that, I get that, but I want to see for myself how these disc drives would react if I put them inside the console anyways. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see one of these discs miraculously work. I, I doubt it, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun to give it a try. Plus this satisfies our curiosity, mine as well as yours, cause you're clicking on this video to watch it in the first place. What's up, bro? Let's start off with our first disc, why don't we? Wii Sports, wouldn't it be fun to just put in this game in our console and just do some Wii bowling, some Wii golf, some Wii tennis. One thing that you should be aware of if you're putting any disc into the console is the way to put it in. You actually put this shiny side, the part where all the data is read, you wanna put that on the right hand side of the drive cause that's where the content will be read. So let's go and put it on in. Getting a little spinny icon up at the top and can't recognize the disc. Make sure it's not damaged or dirty. No, it's not damaged. It's not upside down either. It's just a Wii game and you don't want to play Wii games because yeah. All right, so the Wii game was a fail. Next up, we have a Blu-ray movie called The Night Before. It's supposed to be pretty funny. Let's see if we can play this. Put it in this side. It takes about four or five seconds for the console to recognize the disc. But for this Blu-ray movie, it did recognize it. And now we can go ahead and press play and get into watching this movie. Thank you. Next year, we got a classic DVD video and that is Pulp Fiction. Let's see if the PS5 can play a regular DVD. And you go. The Blu-ray took about four to five seconds. And yep, that took about the same. And now I can just scroll down Press play. So we confirm that DVDs do work using the Blu-ray drive. If these next two discs work, I'm going to be floored. <laughs> so this first one is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, probably my favorite game I've ever played as a, as even a kid growing up crazy, Grand Theft Auto playing as a kid, that's, that's terrible but I enjoyed the heck out of this game. It was a lot of fun. Let's see if we can play it on the PS5. If it doesn't work, hey, we'll just have to get it remastered on the PS5, right? So let's put it on in, just like that. I know you wanna work. Oh my goodness, this disc isn't supported by the PS5, okay. But we got a different message this time compared to what we got from when we put in the Wii game. As it said, it was a damaged game or if it was flipped upside down when put into the console. What if the console recognizes that it's a PlayStation game, but it just isn't supported by the PS5? Hmm, maybe there's hope. Let's go ahead and take that game on out. How about some Call of Duty Black Ops 2? Probably my most favorite Call of Duty of all time. I had so much fun on this game, man. Ooh, what a blast. Can we get it to work on the PlayStation 5? That's the big question. Here it is. Let's put it in. All right, spinning. This disc isn't supported by the PlayStation 5, of course. We, we saw that one coming. All right, no luck with the PS2 and the PS3 game. How about PlayStation 4? This is supposed to be backwards compatible, so I should be able to install this game without a problem. But let's see what the reaction is when we put it into the console. Okay, spinning, spinning, it's reading the game. Boom. Call of Duty World War II. And now it's actually copying the game data onto my console. So that way when it's complete and it's finished the installation, if I have the disc in the PlayStation 5, I'll be able to play the game. Next up here is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. This is a PC game, disc one out of three, I believe. <laughs> Back in the day, I even had the nunchuck or, or the flight simulator. What is that thing? The, the thing that you fly the, the plane with. I had that set up for the PC. And that was a lot of fun back a while ago. But let's see if this game works on the PS5. Can we, can we get some flight simulator going on PlayStation? Let's get it going. 
All right, it's taking its sweet time to try to read this disc. Can't recognize the disc, make sure it's not damaged or dirty. So installing a PC game via the disc does not work. That is confirmed. What if I don't want to just watch a movie or play a game? How about if I want to listen to some music? Let's put that into the console. I'm having my doubts right now. Yep, doesn't work. Disc is not recognized. I'm sorry, but if you own CDs, you can't play your jams on the PlayStation 5. We have one last disc to try here, and that is the Xbox One Star Wars Battlefront by EA. Didn't they shut down their servers? Anyways, let's give this Xbox One game a try and see if we can play it on the PlayStation 5. Cross your fingers, man. I really want to play some Star Wars Battlefront from Xbox on my PlayStation 5, man. Come on. I know you want to work. Please. Oh, can't recognize the disc. Make sure it's not damaged. I, I promise you it's not damaged. I, I keep my Xbox games in perfect condition. All right, that did not work. Well, that completes the test for all the foreign disc that I had access to to see if they would work on my PlayStation 5. If you guys think that there's something I left out or missed that I could have tested, let me know in the comment section below. This was an interesting test, but I'm not surprised at the way it went. Hopefully in the future, we'll have a console that will just run all these things. Maybe not its competitors' games, but at the least, guys, having our old games work on our newer generation consoles, I think is very important because we wanna preserve the past. We don't wanna lose these great games. Yeah, they're old, graphics don't look as nice, but the gameplay, man, it's gaming history. We don't wanna lose that. But that is gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you just lightly tap the thumbs up button. We, we gotta be nicer to the thumbs up button. We've been smashing it like crazy and we just gotta be a little bit more gentle with it. Just give it a little pet. And also, if you're new to this channel and this is your first time watching a video from me, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a new video or a new live stream that I'll do on this channel. We're just gonna keep on grinding and we're just having fun around here. And I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thanks for staying to the end of the video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.